Trying not to get banned on Roblox used to be like walking through a minefield, trying not to blow up and die. If Roblox still had their moderation history, your ban history, where you could access it, I wish I could look through my old accounts and show you guys all the nasty things I got banned for, but they took that feature out. It was originally for parent accounts, for your parents to see what a nasty little horrible demon child you are. People only use this feature to flex how many bans they had, which was what I was going to do, but they don't have this anymore. You already know what it is. Little Ted, the youngest flux of the century. But nowadays, getting banned on Roblox, you kind of have to do something evil. Like, uh, laughability, my friend does Roblox ban speedruns sometimes, and he has to do some evil things to get banned now, uh, judging by these thumbnails. But honestly, just a few years ago, Roblox was really strict on the most random things. I, I'm, I'm gonna take today to go through all the stupid stuff that you used to get banned for on Roblox, starting with the most ridiculous which was the Uganda Knuckles thing. For some reason, Roblox took the most strict stance on Uganda Knuckles. Do we? Do you know the way? Do you remember this? It's not funny anymore. But this was like the thing. This brought people together five years ago. And Roblox was like, no, you can't have this. This is offensive. Nobody was ever offended by Uganda Knuckles. Only the Roblox moderators were. I don't know why, but anytime you'd upload anything with the little Knuckles guy, you'd get banned for multiple days or get your account deleted. It was called hate speech. You were concerned doing hate speech if you tried to upload this. I still don't know why they took such a heavy stance on this. I think they thought it was racist or something. Nobody was offended by this. It's so insane to just look at this image and see the word hate speech. Like, yo, you you committed hate speech with this. Account deleted. These banned speedruns used to be really easy a few years ago. Roblox banned speedrunners are absolutely suffering. And I'm pretty careful about uh, offending large groups of people. I I'm sorry. I like to make jokes. But I'm sorry. I don't like to really hurt people's feelings. Sorry. But Roblox was trying to be offended for other people who weren't offended. I don't, uh... The origins of the meme are based in racist jokes about the Ugandan people and the Swahili language. Um... Not saying it's impossible for someone to have been offended by that, but Roblox back in the day was just really scared of just kind of losing any type of investor money, I guess. Because, I mean, there was murals in schools in U Uganda, like, celebrating this funny little creature. Let's take it back maybe 13 years ago. Roblox was a very different place. Their biggest YouTuber at the time, the first Roblox YouTuber basically, was this guy Fleskajerda. I know this is only a few hundred thousand views, but back then for a Roblox video, that was the, that was huge because Roblox was tiny. There was only a few hundred, there was only like a couple hundred thousand players around this time. And it was just this. It was just goofy, and I think Roblox really, really hated this guy because he got deleted. Pretty much his first ban he ever got, Roblox took him off the platform, and it's because of this. Like, this is, like, sure, give him a warning for making, like, a, a, a slightly more shapely body than a Lego character. This was the biggest YouTuber at the time who got permanently taken off the platform for uploading this. And also, why I think Roblox would be a little sneaky about it, they didn't delete him off the platform until until two years after he had this. Like, he forgot he had this on his account. And then they found a reason to ban him. The shadow government of Roblox. The underground shadow government of Roblox went after him and, and took him out. And who knows why? Like, this is probably UGC that you can buy now. You can make yourself look like this. I made my character pregnant the other day. Or, well, let me rephrase that. I made my Roblox character look pregnant. Uh, I didn't... <laughs> You know, sometimes things in life are all about timing. You could do one thing one year and be executed by firing line because of it. And then in five years, everyone will be doing it and it's okay. Like, ro ro this was a Roblox body for a long time. And this is just as shapely, if you know what I mean. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> This is just as shapely as the thing the biggest Roblox YouTuber at the time uploaded that they permanently deleted them for. Like, look at look at this character. I'm not gonna zoom in on any specific part of this character because I will never objectify anyone or anything. But this is this is a lot more detailed. I know this is at like a decade down the line. This is a decade later, but it's just um that probably did change the whole entire course of this person's life. I'm sure they probably don't care. This happened so long ago, but imagine if they kept making. I mean, like I. 
I'm done with Roblox. And he probably hates that I'm even bringing this up because he's probably so far removed and probably so sick of hearing about Roblox. But he, uh, he's a very important part of history and I may maybe wouldn't have made Roblox videos without him. <laughs> Yeah, he had cursing in his videos, and that'll lead me to my next point, but I think Roblox maybe just didn't like that he had censored cursing on his videos. The most, honestly, like, super harmless. So not only did Roblox ban their biggest YouTuber at the time, 10 years down the line, they banned the biggest YouTuber. He got banned off the platform for, um, existing. Star. He had a, a live stream of him, uh... I don't uh, know. Oh god, I actually don't know. Uh, uh I, I don't I don't know either, man. <laughs> Which, like, this would have been a great opportunity for uh, Roblox to be shown in a positive light to a different audience, but PewDiePie is no longer permitted on- This is a um, staff member saying this. PewDiePie is no longer permitted on Roblox due to his content redirecting to unsafe and inappropriate sites slash channels, as well as continued inappropriate behavior that would not be permitted on Roblox on his own channel. Because this has been answered, this topic will be locked. We did it, Reddit. Roblox would ban- They would ban you from Roblox if they heard a peep of something on a completely different unrelated platform links to sites and channels like what the hell what sites and channels do i link to they even say themselves that linked websites are not under our control exactly you know again this was years ago so i'm not trying to dog on current day roblox but just a few years ago they, they were honestly really dumb <laughs> like they would say oh stuff that happens off platform is not under our control but they would only say that just so they can't get in trouble for stuff that happened off platform that's kind of the only reason why they'd say that. So they didn't have to get their hands dirty with anything. Sorry if that's uh, a little bit too uh, accusatory of me to say. They start banning people for just saying his name. And they also banned... Um, if you've seen my myth videos from back in the day, uh, this Circus in the Sky by Gauze the Clown, they banned that just for it showing up on his stream a couple times. He didn't even play it. But you can see it in the corner of his stream and it somehow got taken down for maybe a day, maybe a couple days. Days. Like so super awesome. I'm so glad that they changed. They they should have been making these changes years ago. I, I don't I don't know what made them change. I, I guess they just decide, oh, we can make more money if uh older people also play. So, so they stopped being insane, I guess. Even as of a couple years ago, just two years ago, you'd get banned if you uploaded someone's face, which that makes sense. You don't want to dox people and you post people's faces onto the like Roblox images or anything like that but they would ban you for that or give you warnings at least to start. But just a couple years later, uh, you have UGC creators uploading every YouTuber's face without even asking them and selling it and making money off of it. This one was taken down because I, I you know, after uploading it, which you didn't ask me, and selling it and making a, probably a lot of money off of all these, after doing that, then he decided to ask uh, permission to keep them on sale. I said no because I don't know this person. I don't know. I don't know who they are. I thought it was weird to to upload it and then ask me if he can upload it. So I, I just said no. Obviously it didn't matter either way to him, but he did take it off sale, which was nice. But it's crazy how, how quickly things can shift. Yeah, I thought it'd just be an interesting look back on the history and you know, the really dumb things that people would get banned for. I do wish that they still had this moderation history thing. There's probably a lot of dumb stuff I got banned for that would probably be fun to reflect on too, but yeah, let me know if you want me to do more of these history type of videos. I've been on the platform for a very long time, so I feel like there's probably some stuff I can remember. Make another video about it. Boo!